I'm Peter Block at TC2 2018, and I'm here with Holger Thiele. I love to be able to say that from Leipzig, Germany. It gives me a chance to do a little German practice. Holger has been presenting the Solve TAVI trial, raising the question of whether or not core valve and Sapien are truly the same. So, Holger, I won't take away any of the uh, wonderful things you have to say. Tell me about the trial, tell me how you set it up, and then we'll get to the outcomes. Yeah, so SolveTavi was a um, randomized trial. It was a two by two factorial randomized trial, which has been performed in eight centers in Germany. So it was a multi-center trial where we randomized patients with severe um, symptomatic aortic stenosis to either the new curve of Evolute R, um, the self-expandable valve versus uh, the balloon expandable Sapien 3 valve. And in addition, we did a second randomization to um, general anesthesia versus local anesthesia with conscious sedation. Okay, so the general anesthesia versus local anesthesia is one that's close to my heart because we're used to minimalist TAVR where we don't use general anesthesia. So tell me, uh, what were the outcomes of this trial? You randomized them all and then you compared. Yeah. So first of all, it's important that why, why we did this trial. So currently at least at German registries also uh, yeah, so far I know in U US registries so roughly 50% of the patients still undergo general anesthesia and many people believe that general anesthesia may be more um, safe for the patients that's the reason why we did this randomized trial um, so exactly now talking about what we have found altogether we randomized a little bit more than 440 patients and this was an equivalence trial, so the trial was powered for equivalence. Okay, so that's important, isn't that's it? That's important, yeah. Right. So um, we tried to show that both the valves and also the anesthesia strategy would be equivalent to each other. And this is what we did. So we had two different endpoints for the valve strategy and also for the anesthesia um, strategy. So for the valve strategy, where you had all-cause mortality, myocardial infarction, stroke, paravalvular leakage and permanent pacemaker implantation. Sort of the standard outcomes for a TAVR sure. trial. Yeah. Okay. And for talking about the results of the um, valve strategy, we found equivalence between the two groups. Um, interestingly, we were a little bit surprised to see a relatively high pacemaker implantation rate um, um, for the Evolute R strategy as well as for the Sapien series yeah. strategy. Let me, let's just talk about that yeah. for a moment. I mean, you're pretty close between 15 and 20 percent for roughly for both, yeah. and uh, that's a little bit higher than I would expect. Yeah, this is also a surprise for us. Um, we still have to further investigate what was the reason for it, um, because in other trials we know that um, pacemaker implantation rate, at least for the Sapien 3, was less than 10 percent or roughly 10 percent, and we were at 18 percent. Well, uh, I snuck a look at the outcomes, so tell me about mortality, because that's really low. Yeah, mortality was very, really very low. It was slightly above 2% in both groups, um, although we still included um, a high-risk population. So the Euro score was nearly 20, STS score was roughly 8 um, in median, so there was still a high-risk population. Yeah. Well, that's, that's um, a pretty good outcome for that. So finally, what about the difference between the general anesthesia and the local? Yeah, as mentioned, so we had a different primary endpoint for this comparison between the anesthesia strategies. Um, we included infection and also acute kidney injury um, into this endpoint, um, in addition to all-cause mortality and stroke and um, acute myocardial infarction, and we did not find any difference between the two groups. Okay, thank you, Haga. So there we have it. Uh, Sapien and Evolute are pretty close all the way around, and even the two strategies of how to do them pretty much the same. That's good news for anyone who wants to do a tavern.